Well, are large age gaps the secret to a happy relationship? A new study finds couples with decades between them are more satisfied romantically. They also report greater trust and commitment and lower jealousy. This comes as actor Al Pacino, who's 83 years old, announced he and his 29-year-old girlfriend are expecting. 79-year-old Robert De Niro and his 45-year-old partner also just welcomed a new baby. So let's welcome the panel, strategist and communication specialist Max Burns and award-winning podcaster and culture expert Arisha Skidmore-Williams. Great to have you both. Max, I'd love to start with you. Does it surprise you that age gaps could be a good thing? Well, I think it's working out pretty well here for Al Pacino. I mean, to his benefit, now he's finally met someone who can teach him how Zoom works. And his wife has met someone who can help teach her cursive finally. So it seems like everybody wins here. The only real challenge I see is that Joe, uh, that, uh, that Al Pacino is going to be 100 when he's raising a 17-year-old. And that's honestly a movie I'd love to see. It is interesting. We did have conversations about that in the past. We certainly congratulate them. Um, Arisha, a separate smaller study, though, found couples with a 20-year age gap or greater were 95% more likely to split up. So are these relationships happier in the moment, according to the first study, but then ultimately doomed to fail because of a difference in age? Yeah, I think so. I mean, when you think about what relationships are built on, a lot of it has to do with shared experiences. And when you're 70, hanging out with a 29 year old, there's not a lot in common. And you know, what you're going through when you're 29 is going to be very different than what you're going through when you're in your 70s and your 80s. And especially when you bring kids into it, I can't imagine there being a lot of longevity in that age gap. Yeah, it's certainly uh, something to consider there for sure. And Max researchers found age gaps worked out better when the man is older uh, than the woman. So what do you make of that? What's at play? Well, I think there's certainly, at least in the cases like Al Pacino, you know, it helps to have childcare covered, to have the resources to, to manage this. But for a lot of couples that are not very wealthy, you start to see the, the generational strains, the priorities in life start to diverge. And it's, it's not that surprising, but a lot of people have made it work. So it does seem to come down to the individual and finding the right person for you. So while we're on the subject of relationships, uh, there is a new trend in the dating world. It's looking out for beige flags, they're called. So you're probably mm -hmm. familiar with the red flag, meaning stay away. So what's a beige flag? Well, according to the latest social media fad, it signals a potential that the partner is boring. Online users cite examples like hating pineapple on pizza, referencing spreadsheets, or even calling yourself a plant parent. So Arisha, <laughs> what do you think about this new term? You know, I think there's a term for everything, especially with the TikTok generation, they're going to find a way to label things. And I get it. You know, there's, it's a time to decide what you want and go after it. And if you're not into somebody who doesn't like pineapple on pizza, then I agree with you. And I think that's fine to say pass. So Max is one person's beige flag, another person's green flag. I certainly hope so. I mean, I love talking about spreadsheets on a first date. I, this this whole thing just makes me really glad that I was not in high school and first dating when social media was around. I mean, you've got, you're still discovering so much about yourself, about interacting with people, and to have an audience essentially judging you every step of the way must just be terrible. I think that that is such a great point. Um, Arisha, should we applaud honesty and self-awareness, or is this just another way we're overthinking everything? And as Mac mentioned, you know, people are judging some of the things that you put out there when you're looking to connect. Yeah, I definitely think that we're judging a lot faster, but I don't know that that's necessarily a bad thing. You know, we have one life, our time is limited on this planet. And if you don't like somebody who, sorry, Max talks about spreadsheets on the first date, then why spend time with that? You know, I think it's okay to just keep going. Find what works for you. We only have one life. All right. Max, last word. We've got about 10 seconds. Um, I totally agree. It's just a shame that you have to do it in front of so many people now. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Max Burns and Arisha Skidmore-Williams, thank you both for joining us. Great conversation. Thanks, Kelly. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.